Hello and good evening. Today it is Monday, August 17th, 2020. And for this video today, this is an immediate follow-up video to my last video where I shared my thoughts on what I would like to see the CFL do if they did forego a 2020 season in some way, shape, or form. Now, when I made that video, I did not realize that this news had been released, but turns out the Canadian Football League actually came out today and announced that they have cancelled their plans for a 2020 season of some sort entirely. There will not be a 2020 Canadian Football League season, and I'll share my thoughts on that and a little bit of discussion on that for this video today. Um, what I've done here is I've put together a little mini uh, CFL jersey backdrop for this video for a change, and... I thought it'd be better than a black screen, especially for a significant video like this, talking about something significant, because obviously when a league has to shut down and cancel an, an entire season, that is a pretty big deal as far as I'm concerned. But um, basically, I did read it, the article from the Canadian Football League's website about the cancellation of the 2020 season. Now, there was multiple factors that played into this from what I gather. First off, there was they needed to renegotiate their collective bargaining agreement. I don't know if that was just to make amendments to make the 2020 shortened season in the hub city viable or not, or it was to entirely negotiate a new contract moving forward, which I don't know which one it is. And I, and I think it was more to do with amending the agreement so that they could do a 2020 season especially under the extraordinary circumstances we're in due to the ongoing pandemic. But there was not only that, um, but also another major factor was the fact that the federal government here in Canada denied them the funding that the CFL was uh, requesting. So under the current COVID-19 circumstances, I can understand the Canadian federal government not giving the Canadian Football League the funding they want, especially when we are in, as a country, in some difficult, to be rather modest, some difficult circumstances as a result of COVID-19. I can't even think of the millions to billions, probably billions of dollars that our government here in Canada has given out in uh Canada emergency response benefit payments, let alone everything else that our economy has faced as a result of COVID-19. So under the extraordinarily bad circumstances we are in right now, I can understand why the Canadian Football League did not get the funding that they requested from the federal government. So I did read that article on their website, <clears throat> excuse me, and Supposedly, if I remember correctly, there was some type of um, relief something or interest loan or something that the government encouraged the CFL to go with. And I think the CFL felt that it was too costly long term to do it. And I can understand that, too. So basically, the CFL wasn't getting any funding from the federal government that they needed to make this work, from what I gather. And... Also, you've got the issue of having to do um, CBA negotiations with the players' union. But the other thing, the Canadian Football League's main source of revenue is bums and seats. Yes, fans buying tickets and going to games. Gate revenues. Tickets. Ticket sales, I mean. And if the CFL can't have ticket sales and can't have fans at the games well that's their main source of revenue gone not only that but their plan was to supposedly have winnipeg and the stadium that the blue bombers play in investors group field i believe is the name of their stadium um serve as the hub would have served as the hub stadium and hub city well winnipeg would have been the hub city with their stadium investors group field being the uh host of all of the CFL's games for a 2020 season. But here's another problem. 
if you have a hub city, you've got to pay the players. Then you've got to have them all in the bubble. Then you've got to pay for all the hotel accommodations for the duration of the season. And it's, it's just too much. Whereas a league like, say, for example, the uh, National Hockey League or Major League Baseball. Actually, I'll use Major League Baseball as an example here because they're actually playing a shortened regular season right now. But the thing with Major League Baseball is, is that they're not doing the hub format. They're just having teams go from empty stadium to empty stadium. And even though they don't have bums and seats, they have their TV deals and sponsorship deals that are helping offset that to the point where they can at least do a 2020 season in some way, shape, or form, which is better than nothing at all, in my opinion. And personally, if you really want to know my thoughts on this whole thing, I think that the 2020 CFL season being canceled really sucks. All summer long, I have felt that there's been something missing with the CFL not being there, but maybe that's more to do with the fact that I am a CFL fan. And when the CFL is on during the summer months, I watch every week as many games as I can. But um, yeah, unfortunately, the Canadian Football League's 2020 season has been cancelled. Their commissioner, Randy Ambrosi, also stated that he's really going to try his best alongside the owners and the entire league, of course, to work on the future and work together towards making a 2021 season possible which I really do hope, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed, that they can make it happen. But as I've been saying since March, and I know I'm a broken record for those of you who are actually subscribers of the channel, that I've been saying this since March, and it's that safety has to come first. If it's not safe enough to do a, a sports league season of any kind, don't do it. It's not worth it. And sadly, the amount of cases from what I gather with COVID-19 are continuing to get worse. And it's probably going to get even more, or sorry, it's going to get even worse than what it is now before it probably gets better, unfortunately. Or unfortunately, it's probably going to get a lot worse before it actually gets any better. And man, does that suck. But hopefully, hopefully they can find something some type of vaccine, hopefully by the end of the year, and start to find a turning point where we can start to turn this awful pandemic situation around. But um, but yeah, you know, this this has been hard to see. All these leagues have to shut down, and the whole entire world, economies and everything. I mean, I'm only talking about the tip of the iceberg here. I mean, perf I mean... The Canadian Football League is between professional sports and kind of, I don't really know how to put it. I don't really know a good equi hockey equivalent for the CFL compared to the NFL. But basically, the CFL, I don't want to say that it's the East Coast Hockey League of football, but it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. Because I know the CFL here in Canada has, I'm sure it has way more attention than the East Coast Hockey League ever gets. I mean, the CFL is our football league here in Canada, and it has been around for over 100 years. In fact, the last time the CFL had to shut down a season was back in 1919, and I'm sure that was because of the last pandemic, the Spanish flu, which happened around 1919, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, this... Yeah, this is definitely a rather unfortunate announcement. And when I saw it on TV right after I filmed my last video earlier today, I was like, damn it, this sucks. But hey, looking at the fact that they did not get the government financial aid that they requested, the fact that they can't have fans at the stadiums, the fact that they'd have to play or pay for all the hotel accommodations for players, coaching staff, medical staff, etc. You know, team trainers, blah, blah, blah. It just, it gets to a point where it's just not feasible. And I can understand why. Too much cost involved and not enough gain back. You know, it's, yeah, it's, it would have probably, it's would have probably been a, 
total nightmare for the CFL trying to do a 2020 season, which sucks to have to say that, but it's probably true. I, I would say that it would have been the case. It would have been a nightmare for the league if they did a 2020 season, to be honest. Um, now, am I glad that the CFL canceled? Well, if they couldn't, if they can't make it work, then I think it's the best thing for the league. But, you know, do I think it, that them canceling is really unfortunate? Absolutely. This whole situation sucks. I just hope that in 2021, we will see the CFL relaunch and hopefully come back stronger than ever. I mean, as a CFL fan, I really hope that the league can turn itself around. It is, it is not anywhere near the financial boon that the NFL is, obviously. And I would argue that even the XFL, once it gets going again, which I hear Dwayne Johnson has purchased the XFL alongside, I believe, his ex-wife, Danny Garcia, and a, um, I think a capital hedge fund company or something, if I'm not mistaken. Um, once they get their uh, league reestablished, the XFL get it reestablished with their TV deals with, I believe, both Fox and ESPN and sponsorship deals that they actually did really good in that department this year when they tried to relaunch in February. I, I, I see the XFL easily catapult, catapulting over the CFL in no time in terms of annual revenues. I mean, they've got a way bigger audience in the U.S., let alone uh, Canada. I mean, the CFL is, has always been mostly ex completely exclusive to Canada. I mean, I know Randy Ambrosi has tried to, is trying to get beyond Canada for the CFL. He's trying to promote it outside. He's trying to get players from other countries in. And I also know that the CFL failed miserably at their attempt to put Canadian football in the United States with the one exception of Baltimore until they got their Baltimore Ravens and got their NFL back thanks to the Baltimore Ravens joining the NFL. And I'm, I'd rather see Baltimore have an NFL team than a CFL team, to be honest, because in my opinion, you know, Am I glad that Indianapolis has their own NFL team? Absolutely. But it always sucks when an NFL or any city loses their team, especially when they have a good, a really good big fan base. So I'm glad that Baltimore got an NFL team again, and that's why Baltimore folded. And obviously the Stallions moved to Montreal by the end of the 90s and be, obviously are now the Alouettes and have been ever since, thankfully. But yeah, um, hopefully the CFL does come back in 2021 and hopefully they can turn this situation around. Um, one other little thing I want to leave you viewers with is that I did hear that the Calgary Stampeders were planning on launching new uniforms this year in 2020 and the rest of the CFL would launch their uni new uniforms in 2021. Although I can't see the Alouettes already tweaking their uniforms after they just totally rebranded their identity, let alone their uniforms, for the, for the first time since they became a franchise back in, I believe, 1996 or 1997. It was the most significant and drastic rebranding of the Alouettes' logos and uniforms in franchise history since they joined the league back in the 90s. I can't see them changing again this soon. I just can't. In fact, I don't see it happening at all. At least not yet. It's too soon. But I wonder, will the league, will the teams unveil new uniforms in 2021? I, with the new edge, or sorry, not new edge. Sorry, I'm thinking of Reebok here as I'm looking at my jerseys here. But thinking of the new company that's taken over the jersey contract in the CFL, New Era. They just unveiled all of the new New Era uniforms across the CFL last year. So I think they should have the entire league continue to wear their new era uniforms for at least another season or two before they re start redoing uniforms. At least that's my personal opinion. Now with the Calgary Stampeders and their plans for unveiling new uniforms this year, could they do it for next year? Sure. But the rest of the league, I think they should wear their uniforms for at least one more season. I mean, even look at BC here. They actually fixed their uniforms, even though I'm still not a fan of their new uniforms. I'm not going to lie. They did take a very traditional turn with them when they switched from Adidas to New Era, which they needed to do. So 
what, they're going to just wear those for one or two seasons and that's it? I think they should wear them for at least another season or two personally before they make a change. Now, do I want the BC Lions to go back more in a simpler direction uniform-wise? Hell yeah. As I say, I've not been a fan of their current uniform style since they switched over to the Adidas uniforms back in 2016. But I do think that their slightly much-needed tweaked uniforms they got last season are good enough to wear for at least another season or two. But anyways, folks, I'm going to call it a wrap at this point. I would love to hear how other people feel about everything I mentioned in this video and the news that the CFL has been shut down in 2020 and had their season cancelled and decided to cancel it, I mean. I think it's really unfortunate, but it sounds like it was just not feasible and it would have been a big headache if they went and for went and actually tried to forego a 2020 season. It just sounded like, sounds like it would have been too much of a financial loss to a league that's already struggling as is. So, well, as a result of COVID-19. So, anyways, folks, um, on that note, if you did stick around from start to finish in this video, I hope it was worth your time. If you've got anything you want to add in the comment section below, please feel free to mention what you want to mention. I'd be curious to hear how other people feel about what I've mentioned in this video today. And until my next video, you guys, take care. And, of course, as always, Bye for now, and a quick thanks to my one subscriber, Caesar. Thank you for mentioning the XFL sale, by the way. I did read your comment uh, earlier today. Thank you. On that note, folks, take care, and of course, as always, bye for now.